Hello everyone. Welcome to Prime Math Lovers YouTube channel. Today in this video I'm going to solve these interesting questions. We have a tri right angle triangle <clears throat> where one side is equal to sine of x, the another side is equal to sine of 2x and the hypotenuse is equal to sine of 3x. We are asked to find x. <clears throat> the Pythagorean theorem states that in a right angle triangle the square root of uh, the square of the length of hypotenuse is equal to sum of squares of lengths of the other two sides. I can write down, it means that sine of sine to the power of 2 of 3x is equal to sine to the power of 2 of x plus sine to the power of 2 of 2x. We need to calculate sine of 2x and sine of 3x in terms of sine of x. So we, we utilize this uh, trigonometric identity which states sine of alpha plus beta is equal to sine of alpha times cosine of beta plus cosine of alpha times sine of beta. So sine of 2x is equal to sine of x plus x and in, by using this identity is equal to sine of x times cosine of x plus cosine of x times sine of x and this is equal to 2 times sine of x times cosine of x. Now we are going to calculate sine of 3x. Sine of 3x is equal to sine of 2x plus x and by using this formula it is equal to sine of 2x times cosine of x plus cosine of 2x times sine of x. Now we need to calculate cosine of 2x. We have another identity says cosine of alpha plus beta is equal to cosine of alpha times cosine of beta minus sine of alpha times sine of beta. So cosine of 2x is equal to cosine of x plus x and that is equal to cosine of x times cosine of x minus sine of x times sine of x or is equal to cosine to the power of 2 of x minus sine to the power of 2 of x. Now we use this sine of 2x and cosine of 2x in, for calculating sine of 3x. So sine of 3x is equal to sine of 2x times cosine of x. I replace sine of 2x with 2 sine of x times cosine of x times cosine of x plus and I replace cosine of 2x with cosine of um, cosine to the power of 2 of x minus sine to the power of 2 of x. So I'll have uh, plus plus uh, sine of x times cosine to the power of 2 of x minus sine to the power of 2 of x and I simplify it so sine of 3x um, <clears throat> now I replace Now I want to replace cosine of x. Uh, we have another identity in trigonometric say, states that sine of to, sine to the power of 12x plus cosine to the power of 12x is equal to 1. Or cosine to the power of 12x is equal to 1 minus sine to the power of 12x. And here I have sine of 3x is equal to 
2 sine of x times cosine to the power of 12x, this times this, and I replace it with 1 minus sine to the power of 12x. And here I have sine of x, I replace cosine to the power of 2x with 1 minus sine, of, sine to the power of 2x minus sine to the power of 2x. Then I simplify it, it will be <clears throat> 2 sine of x minus 2 sine of sine to the power of 3 sine to the power of 3 of x plus sine of x and this minus sine to the power of 2x minus sine to the power of 2x is minus 2 sine to the power of 2x and I multiply sine of x in, inside the parenthesis so I'll have sine of x minus 2 sine to the power of 3x and 2 sine of x and plus sine of x is, will be 3 sine of x minus 2 sine to the power of x minus 2 sine to the power of x will be minus 4 sine to the power of 3x. So sine of 3x is equal to 3 sine of x minus 4 <coughs> sine to the power of 3x. I write it down again here and Sine of, uh, we calculated sine of 2x and sine of 3x. Now we replace sine of 3x and sine of 2x in our main equation with what we uh, find out. So we will have sine to the power of 2, uh, sine to the power of 12, 3x. I replace sine of 3x with this. So I'll have 3 sine of x minus 4 sine to the power of 3x all to the power of 2 is equal to sine to, uh, to the power of 12x plus 2 sine of x times cosine of x to the power of 2. We know that uh, from algebra i minus b to the power of 2 is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So I expand this and I will have 9 sine to the power of 12x minus 2ab. 2 times 3 times 4 is 24. Sine of x times sine of, to the power of 3 of x is minus 24 sine to the power of 4x plus this to the power of 2 will be 16 sine to the power of 6x is equal to sine to the power of 2x plus 4 times sine to the power of 2x times cosine to the power of 2x. I raise this, these inside the parenthesis to the power of 2. Then I will have, um, um, we know again from uh, identity of sine to the power of 2x plus cosine to the power of 2x is equal to 1, means cosine to the power of 2x is equal to 1 minus sine to the power of 2x. So I replace this cosine to the power of 2x with 1 minus sine to the power of 2x. And I'll have 2 sine to the power of 2x minus 24 sine to the power of 4x plus 16 sine to the power of 6x is equal to sine to the power of 2x plus 4 sine to the power of 2x times 1 minus sine to the power of 2x. And I multiply this inside the parenthesis, so I'll have 9, uh, I'll have uh, 9 sine to the power of 2x minus 24 sine to the power of 4x plus 16 sine to the power of 6x is equal to sine to the power of 2x plus 2 sine to the power of 2x minus this times this will be 4 sine to the power of 4x. And I take these three terms to the right hand side, sorry, to the left hand side, to the first side of the equation, and I will have 9 sine to the power of 2x minus 24 sine to the power of 4x plus 16 sine to the power of 6x minus sine to the power of 2x minus 4 sine to the power of 2x minus 4 sine to the power of 4x is equal to 0. So I simplify this, I have 
16 sine to the power of 4x, 6x, sorry, I write down 16 sine to the power of um, 6x, minus 24, minus 1, uh, sorry, minus 24, plus 4 will be minus 20 sine to the power of 4x, 16, minus, uh, uh, sorry, 9 minus 1 minus 4 will be 4 sine to the power of 2x. So this is our equation now. I uh, divide both sides of the equation by 4. So I'll have 4 sine to the power of 6x minus 5 sine to the power of 4x plus 4 sine to the power of, uh, sorry, plus sine to the power of 2x is equal to 0. Now I need to solve this equation. For, uh, for solving this equation, I introduce a new variable u and let u is equal to sine to the power of 2x. So we'll have 4 u cubed minus 5 u squared plus u is equal to 0. I replace sine of 2x with u. So sine to the power of 6x means u3 sine to the power of 4x means u squared and sine to the power of 2x means u. So I need to solve this equation. <clears throat> we can factor out u to get u times 4u squared minus 5u plus 1 is equal to 0. When we have two factors multiplied together resulting in 0, it implies that each individual factor should be set is equal to 0. So either u is equal to 0 or 4u squared minus 5u plus 1 is equal to 0. u is equal to 0 means sine squared of x is equal to 0. And this implies that sine of x is equal to 0. When sine of x is equal to 0, um, um, <clears throat> this answer is not acceptable because sine of x represents the length of one of the sides of a triangle, this side. So this is a length, and length cannot be a 0. So this answer is not acceptable. For solving... Uh, 4u squared minus 5u plus 1 is equal to 0. We use, uh, we use quadratic equation formula, which says uh, for a quadratic equation of a x squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And in our equation, a is 4, <coughs> b is minus 5, and c is 1. So u will be equal to 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times 4 times 1 over 2 times 4. Or minus 5 squared is 25, 4 times 4 is 16, so will be 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 16 over 8 and 25 minus 16 will is 9 so 5 plus or minus square root of 9 over 8 and square root of 9 is 3 so u is 5 plus or minus 3 over 8 so we use uh, this u is equal 5 plus or minus 3 over 8 to calculate sine of x and um, in result we calculate x. Okay, now we found two value for u. The first one is u is equal to 5 plus 3 over 8. 
which is u 8 over 8 or 1 and you if when u is equal to 1 sinus squared of x is equal to 1 and this means sine of x is equal to plus or minus 1 if we ch um, it is plus or minus 1 sinus x is equal to minus 1 is not acceptable because sine of x is the length of a side of the our tri triangle and cannot be a negative number and if uh, sine of x is equal to positive 1 it means x is equal to pi over 2 or 90 degree and when x is equal to pi over 2 2x will be pi or 180 degree and we know that sine of 2x or sine of pi uh, sine of 180 degree is zero again the length of uh, side of a triangle cannot be zero so this answer is not acceptable as well the other answer for u is u is equal to 5 minus 3 over 8 or 2 over 8 or 1 over 4 this means sine squared of x is equal to 1 over 4 and it means sine of x is equal to minus or plus 1 over 2 again minus 1 over 2 is not acceptable because length of x length of a side on, on a triangle cannot be a negative number and it, uh, then other answer is sine of x is equal to positive 1 over 2 then x will be pi over 6 or 30 degree we check 2x and sine of 2x and sine of 3x x is pi over 6 so 2x will be pi over 3 and sine of pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2 it is a valid number and sine of 3x 3 times pi over 6 will be pi over 2 and sine of pi over 2 is number 1 again is a valid number this means that our answer x is equal to pi over 6 is acceptable and it is the only answer for this questions i hope you enjoyed the video your support would be greatly appreciated if you could give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends thank you very much wishing you a fantastic time wherever you are on this planet cheers